Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video, I will provide an overview of insulin production and signaling. So let's get started. Essential organs of the body required to understand the production of insulin and its function include stomach, pancreas, circulatory system, and target tissue. In this case, adipose tissue cell or muscle cell is considered as the target tissue for this example. The target cell shown in this example has a glucose transporter 4 located in the cytoplasm which is abbreviated as GLUT4. Initially, when glucose and starch-rich food is ingested by an individual, it reaches the stomach through the esophagus. In stomach, starch is broken down to glucose. The cumulative load of glucose is transported into the blood and the glucose concentration in blood increases. This glucose will circulate throughout the body and it reaches pancreas where insulin will be produced. Pancreas is exocrine as well as endocrine organ. The narrow tail part of the pancreas is endocrine in nature as it possesses islets of Langerhans. The beta cells residing in the islets of Langerhans will quickly respond to glucose rush in blood and it will produce insulin. The receptor of this insulin is located on the membrane of the target cell as shown in the animation. Before we proceed let us first see the structure and properties of insulin. Insulin is a peptide hormone and it possesses two peptides, A and B, linked to one another by two disulfide linkages. Peptide A is 21 amino acid long and peptide B is 30 amino acid long. The peptide A has one intrachain disulfide linkage as well. Thus, active insulin molecule has three disulfide linkages, of which two are interchain and one is intrachain. Let us go back to the animation. The insulin produced by the beta cells is poured into the blood. Insulin is a hydrophilic hormone so it can easily circulate into the blood without any help of carrier molecule. Insulin then reaches the target tissue and binds to the membrane bound receptor. This hormone receptor binding will send signal inside the cytoplasm to mobilize GLUT4 and fuse it onto the cell membrane. As soon as GLUT4 fuses to the cell membrane, glucose from the blood will move inside the target cells, that are cells of adipose and muscle tissue. This will bring down the glucose concentration back to the normal levels, that is 80 to 100 mg percentage. Also, the hormone receptor complex, will modulate the cell's internal metabolism. Effects such as glycogen synthesis, anabolism, growth, decrease in fat utilization, etc., will be induced. You can pause the video to comprehend the animated sketch. In my next video, I will explain the production of insulin by the beta cells of islets of Langerhans. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to LAE if you like my video. Feel free to share this video.